Hello, I am Nziki Mkiza and welcome to the A to Z of social entrepreneurship. So for the next couple of days, I'm going to be running through the alphabet on different things that you should think about if you want to be a social entrepreneur, if you want to start a social enterprise, or if you are a social impact founder. So let's get into it. Today we are looking at the letter A and I thought a really great phrase to start with in terms of A is authenticity. Whether you are um, the entrepreneur yourself or the cause and the kind of business that you want to start, there needs to be an element of authenticity in it. I truly believe that people gravitate to you based on how authentic you are. You know, so if you are genuine, if you truly believe in what you're doing, if you're absolutely truly passionate about what you're doing, people will see that, that confidence, that passion, that energy will come out of you. And when you're pitching up your business, when you're talking about your business, whether it's to customers, whether it's to suppliers or potential investors, that authenticity comes through. Also, what's really important with that authenticity is that you need to be authentic and true to yourself as the founder. And that is where the magic happens. And that's quick. It's simple. It's easy. Um, if you're struggling with authenticity, you know, and I think that's something that happens a lot in the world that we live in, where you can easily jump onto social media and kind of feel this need to gravitate towards what everyone else is doing or to duplicate what other people are doing. I want to say to you, don't be afraid to be an original in a world full of copies, right? Don't be shy. Um, don't be scared to be you, even if it feels like nobody else is on the path that you're on. You being you is the most unique and the most amazing thing that you can do for yourself and your business, right? So be authentic, be true to yourself, and that authenticity will come through. And for me, that's a really big thing as well. When you think about and when you choose the kind of nonprofit, the kind of social enterprise, the kind of business that you want, to start because what is true to you then reflects in the truth and the honesty and the sincerity in that business and what I mean by that is you know you might go online and see that there's a lot of campaigns that are raising money because they're fighting for climate change right and perhaps there's lots of money that's being directed to climate change or if you're in a South African context most recently there's a lot of funding that has been directed towards um, early childhood development right so you might be like okay I'm gonna go after ECD budgets because that's where I see a lot of money circulating but if you're not passionate about the environment or if you're absolutely not passionate about making sure that children get good quality ECD, that's gonna come through, right? People are gonna see it in your pictures, people are gonna see it in your conversations. And it's also important that it's authentic to you because you're talking about your business all the time, right? And you can't get tired of talking about it. Um, and, and so that authenticity comes through with that as well. And that in the long run, running your business, running your organization, if it's really not authentic to who you are at your core, um, it's gonna get tired, you're gonna slip up and those things will start shining through the cracks because you've dedicated so much time, so much effort and so many resources, right? Because it takes a lot to get a business off the ground. And if you're doing it just for the money, and I'm sure money can be a motivator for some time, um, but there's ebbs and flows in a business. And I think there's lots of challenges and difficulties that you may face, which is a lot more difficult to stay on top of if you're just not aligned. So to all of you social impact founders out there, whether you just have an idea or if you've already started your business, is to really think about how your authenticity shines through in your business, in your movement, in your organization. And if not, think about how you can realign yourself to make sure that your passion, purpose, values, and who you are is aligned to what you're trying to affect in the world. I wish you all the best and if you want to connect with us, um, please head over to Mentor, www.mentor.co.za and connect with our community of social impact founders. Hi there, if you want to join our Social Impact Founders membership community here at Mentor, which is a global mentorship network supporting female social entrepreneurs, head over to our website www.mentor.co.za. You can also send us an email at info.co.za and you will receive your free copy of a social impact guide on how to start a business and life of purpose and impact. See you online.